Okay, so welcome to our Let's Fix Our Eyeballs for our tune in Blender and maybe a few other final things um, to wrap up this tutorial, <laughs> seat of the pants tutorial. Um, the eyeball is actually fine. Um, I just uh, wanted to re-rig the, uh, the bones on it uh, a bit. Uh, well, just not a whole lot. What I'm going to do is change the parenting um, in, a, in an area and maybe move uh, the bones around slightly. Um, it's not a really huge problem. Uh, the first thing I wanted to do was this is uh, eyeball two. I want to parent the top ones to eyeball two. Disconnect this and connect that there. Oh, there we go. Uh, disconnect this, connect it to eyeball two so that these you move as a, a unit. Um, the other thing was I'm going to um, well, maybe not. I'm gonna move it up slightly. I guess I will. <laughs> uh, the reason being um, it's more it's more to squish it. Move it up and over. That's fine. Now the bottom one, this is eyeball five. I'm gonna connect those to eyeball five, or parent them to eyeball five. So when I move one, basically, it'll move the other ones. Um, then I shouldn't have so much trouble manipulating it. Um, I was kind of thinking about, I don't know what I was thinking. Anyways, it's fixed now. <laughs> I'm gonna move this down below the pupil somewhat. What this does is make it squish a little more around the, the pupil. Bring this one forward. Okay. I'm just going to say that back to this. Move all these weights. Here we go. Um, should be round. with automatic weights and we'll go to our mirror and then this one is number main one And this one is eyeball main one, right? That's right. So I want to select everything. I'm gonna look for eyeball main one and I'm gonna assign it. 
Now, hopefully, this should be done now. We shall see in a second. I'll just move a couple of them around. There we go. Oh, I like that. So using that, I can adjust it a little bit with the side ones, but these move. And this one. Okay. A clear. Clear it all. Okay. And then this one. So that's done. Um, it should work fine-ish inside the uh, iClone. I guess I'll go back to that and mess around with it and show you the end result. I'm not gonna show you me editing everything together. Um, I know all my Vizimis work. Um, I might tweak the skeleton slightly. I moved his knees down um, because I'm worried about the bottom of the banana hitting the ground. I might move them up and see how it works. Like the bone is lower than the kneecap is. Um, it, I'm trying to make it so that it uh, works with uh, all the motions from the uh, humanoid library. But I might, I might move it down and uh, see how that works. But my uh, banana won't move very well uh, unless I don't use the chuck animations or whatever animations for the bipeds um, because I don't have access to the extra backbones um, when I'm using them but maybe I can edit it somehow so we'll go back to iClone in a bit so that's all we wanted to do with the eyeball um, it should work fine now um, that's that see you later okay so here we are we're at the final part um of the eyeballs the rigging worked uh i've done most of the rigging i just left a few for the end like the blinking and one expression so not a big problem so we'll leave it there i always put it back to neutral before i start um i'm gonna make him happy very happy sorry <laughs> And we'll do that with our um, these guys a little bit, I think. If I can get it to. There we go. I do not know why it does that. I just want the top to be out like that. And I just want the bottom. Oop, wrong side. That's one. Um, okay, that's one. I think that's kind of an interesting shape. So this is what I call squishy eyeballs. Oops. Okay, edit the animation layer of this one. Same deal. I'll move the top up. A bit and then I'll move the two out like that. I don't know, I think that's kind of interesting. There is this happy. So I'll just go into preview mode. Sad, very sad, melty eyes, angry. Scared, surprised, happy, very happy, smiling, and there we go. Okay, now we'll go to our blink. The top one is done. The top one is the default size, um, so nothing there. <laughs> now I just want to make it its lids coming down, so I'll just, uh, come on, there we go. There's a blink. There's a blink. I'm just gonna 
straighten this out a little bit here and here so it's not wrinkly. And then uh, I guess that's okay. I guess I can make his pupil smaller too. Um, 0.5. Oh, that's the wrong way. One, one, zero, zero. Okay, that's one. Now we'll just uh, go back here. Oops, cancel. Back down there. We'll pick this one. Same thing, basically. Move it down a bit. Move it up a bit. Take our wrinkles out the side. And I'll make his pupil smaller. it. So that's my blink. So preview mode. Blink. Looks fairly blinky I think. Um, there's his eyes moving around. Um, what else? Expression. Size big, small, big, small, big, small, big, small, big. Made one bigger than the other, only slightly. Big. Hmm. For some reason, this is big. This is also big. Okay, so there's a problem with my. Cancel. Cancel. And this one should be one, one, zero, zero. Apply. And then we'll do the other one. Yeah, there it is. One, one, zero, zero. Apply. Preview mode again. Very large, medium, small. Okay, that's that's the only one that I missed. Um, expressions. Eyeball. Preview mode of my eyeball. I don't know why it's. Oh, there they are. Okay. For some reason, the eyeball interface makes me up. Okay, so that's pretty much done. Um, I didn't change his knees because I don't think that's going to be a good idea. Um, did I try the Visimi knees? Um, Um, that's that. And this is eyebrows, eyes. So basically, he's done. Um, the other thing, I don't know if we look at the Vizini's, I just assume that they would work because <laughs> I've done a million of them. 
Um, here. When I test it, I just slap on um, a motion plus. Okay, so if that is the case, then you would need to take it up with the users in advance, as they are the ones that know what they need, and they are the ones that can do what we do here. It is all fairly simple. You do see it, right? So why do you mess around? There is no need to make heads or tails out of it. So he works. So that's the end of that. Um, hope you learned something, including how I make mistakes <laughs> or what I do when I make mistakes. Anyways, uh, that's the end of that. It's actually not too difficult. It's just a matter of learning the process. Um, I may make a tutorial in the future about making animations for the sky, but that's kind of extra uh, and the object here was to figure out how to make a character that works with toolkit from scratch so there we are so have fun happy banana making bye